So here is the historic building that my friend Leslie and I bought. It was built early 1900s, um, late 1800s. So it needs quite a bit of work. And today, in our effort, look at this key, in our effort <laughs> to turn this into a beautiful antique store and part-time fitness studio, let's give this a try. All right, I'm gonna grab our tools we brought here today. Here's what we've got. Last time it was used was in 2009 for a wood shop. So this is a super awesome desk. We came in here a couple days ago after we closed. So this is really only my second time in here. So we were really um, pleased because this has some amazing really good bones so the walls are awesome the floors today we are going to kind of pull up some of the um vinyl tile that's over the original tile and see how much we have to to salvage and what we have to repair we have a somewhat new furnace we are planning on moving this linux furnace furnace back here to the corner Leslie would like to replace that with a glass garage door, commercial garage door, if we could find something in our budget which would let in a lot of light. There's the bathroom. I'll show you that. That's pretty. This gives a lot of light, but looks like there's more light on video than in person. So it looks like this is where the tile floor ends. So I don't know where the, I'm thinking the bank See where it is like right there and right there? That's like a border. I'm thinking, you know those old um, wooden with the bars, how like the banks looked in the 1900s? I think that's where it was and this is the lobby. So that's my, um, I'm super excited about these Christmas lights. I'm just crazy for Christmas. And look at the old Christmas lights. Like so cool. Um, we're gonna try to reuse whatever we can just to kind of honor the, the building and the things that were in it. This needs a complete gut. That's that's a doozy. Um, <laughs> but in addition to the light in the back um, garage, we also have we. My husband came the other day and we tore down a few ceiling tiles. Also, look at that cool. We're hopefully hoping to keep that. So we'll see as we go along if we keep it or not. Um, but look, a little cupola cupola. And the original tin. Ah, I'm so excited about that. So we are going to either like line that with barn wood or do what we can. Uh, my husband's pretty handy and I'm somewhat resourceful. So yeah, so this is our this is our building of 1500 square feet. Got a nice train in the back. And we're just waiting for Leslie to get here and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these wonderful barrels that they left behind and let's start, let's start cleaning up. I'm kind of a pack rat, so everything I see, I'm like, oh, I could reuse that for a... Uh... Whatever, bar cart. Put my yoga mats on it. So we are going to go ahead and let's see what this snow shovel can do to the tiles. Get this stuff cleaned up.
different shovel, but I didn't want to take the time to try to find it at the farm. So we're just going to keep using that. Hello? <laughs> you think that's going to be hard to clean up? Just scrub it down? No, you're going to... Is it sawdust and um, plaster remains? There's multiple le levels of this. This is almost... That's like, that's like almost a finished product. And then this has got glue on it, so you're going to have to... Get some like um, stripper or paint something. Stri paint scrapers. Yeah. Most of this can just. Dinner. Most of this can just be scraped. Look at that. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Let's scrape this. We'll with, take, we'll take these with your barbecue brush, is that what that is? This is just a steel brush. Uh, I've got a couple of these at home. Okay, look at this. got a lot of the floor, what we could, pulled up. So we're not sure if that continues on or if this is more plaster, but we will come back with better tools next time. We've got our garbage here, some stuff over there in the corner that we might keep. We are keeping the doors and the original hardware on the doors. And we... Uh, Leslie's mom came, picked up a bunch of garbage. We've got a dumpster ordered where we will put all of the stuff that we don't need. This cool little couch. And then we're going to keep this cabinet. We don't know where we're going to put it. But anyway, we will see you guys next time where hopefully we will be working on getting our um, drop ceiling taken off and our old tin ceiling um, kind of exposed. See what we can do with that. So, I'll see you guys soon.